Ugh. Man, I'm ready to do shit. Man, I, I'm literally, I'm like really jittery right now. I gotta do something, gotta do something. No! Anyways, this is Guy Christian 9. This is a Sunday, so obviously, this is a Kirby day. Yay. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm finally off of vacation. Finally ready to do stuff again. And so, yeah, so let's celebrate with Kirby. Yay. I'm showing this path off because there's really no reason. Uh, I wanted to show it off because for posterity's sake. I mean, you know, I gotta pretty much show, you know, what happens if you go that route. And really no difference at all. So let's use Cupid and nimbly avoid these enemies. So anyways, now we're in a new room. Yay! We got more lava. And we're gonna get this fire guy for some reason. I don't know. Or not. Yay! Anyways, here are some minis. This room has a lot of focus on minis. Um, basically use them to navigate the room. However... If you screw up like I just did, and lose the thing, you'll be trapped, and you can only go through this area here, like that little bridge thing. Anyways, this, I believe, leads back to area one in a one-way path, so try not to lose your mini ability, otherwise you're going to have to go all the way around again. However, there's a, there is a bit of a shortcut that I haven't exploited yet, so I'll be able to do that now. Anyways, oh my god, look at that nimble, oh yeah. I nimbly avoided all those enemies. That was awesome. It's the power of the parasol. Anyways, here's the door. There is the small star, so obviously one way. And we end up here. What more is there to say? Anyways, let's go back to this. If you remember, I actually left off um, the video before I started Area 4 here in front of this door. And now we're going to go inside it. So anyways... Um, you want to go through, uh, a path-wise in Mustard Mountain, you want to go through what I went through first, um, exploration-wise, because the leftern portion of Mustard Mountain is isolated from the rest of it, so you want to do that, and then, you know, alright, skip, because we've already fought this guy before. Um, otherwise, uh, go through this door probably next, because, uh, this door, uh, leads basically the same way that other path did. However, this leads to a door, I believe. So, and we still haven't found the second shortcut door yet, so it'd be pretty useful for us, I suppose. So anyways, let's talk about my life for a second. Um, yeah, like I said, I was on vacation. Um, kind of uneventful, unfortunately, because it got cut short. My dad had to do... Uh, his class reunion on uh, of all days my birthday so yeah I guess my 20th birthday is kind of like ranked as one of the lower birthdays of my life but still it was all right I suppose I mean I kind of had to celebrate ah damn soul uh, sore hours or whatever I'm going to eat you instead but anyways um I mean I haven't exactly gotten my presents yet like uh, so far, I, I've gotten a replacement Xbox, which was, like, a while back. And then, um, I got $100 from one of my uncles, and I'm probably going to head out today and buy some stuff with it. Galaxy 2 is probably going to be one of the <laughs> games I get with it. <sighs> because, I mean, hell, it's, it, it, everyone keeps saying it's such a great game, I might as well get it, finally. But, um, yeah. And so today is also Father's Day, so... Yay, Father's Day, um... Yeah. Well, what was what there to say? I mean, just treat your dad right today, I guess. Like, you know, don't overly piss him off or something. So, anyways, uh, this room, if you got a burning ability, you can definitely explore a lot better. So, let's go get one. Lovely place here. Uh, the burning ability will allow you to uh, go through those spikes um, and the Gordos, believe it or not, with no damage whatsoever. So, now you can get that one up or something. Uh, otherwise, if you don't want to get all this cool stuff, just, um, ah, down to one again. Uh, I hope I don't die. That would really suck. Anyways, yeah, so, yeah, if you want to explore this place, uh, use a burning, but there are no treasure chests here, so, you know, alright, I gotta be careful with this guy, because he's gonna try and kill me. And I will eat him. Nom 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 nom. Oh, yes, I made it. Yay, the door. Okay. So here we go, the second shortcut door of the area. Again, um, every area except for area 2 and 9 have two shortcut doors, so... Whew, needed that. Okay. So anyways, we're moving on. We're back into lava area. 
Uh, this uh, path will eventually lead to that room that I screwed up the mini in. So, yeah, there is more than one way. I, I main The main reason you want to use the mini is if you want to get to this other path, I believe. Because you can. I mean, you have the option. But, uh, y usually you, you kind of just want to move forward. Alright, so now we're back in this room. Oh, I guess you can't go back that way. <laughs> My bad. Anyways, we got more mini, so yay, let's eat it. Now, you can go straight up at this point, and uh, I probably do, like, at one point. Uh, that will lead c continuing to this. So, yeah. Alright, so, I have no re reason why I did that, because I pretty much trapped myself again. Yeah, that was, that was pretty stupid of me, wasn't it? Okay, so, alright, so let's skip ahead a little. Okay, and I have a candy for some reason. I'm also at one health. Uh, this is actually a cut ahead, like, um, an edit ahead, because I actually forgot to get this. A one-up. And now, ignore that! Ignore the fact that I just got that treasure. Uh, it doesn't matter which door you go through, however, it does matter what, uh, uh, what, like, well, actually it really doesn't matter. See, like, you get just to that other area. So you just deal with, like, different enemies. There's really no, no much of a difference in course change. All right, now I probably shouldn't have done that because uh, in order to probably explore this area, you want to get a Cupid ability. So yeah, I'll get damage so I can walk through that fee freely, but um, yeah, they really want you to use Cupid in this area here so that you can avoid the uh, fire and the spikes. If you still got burning, that would be really helpful, but um, I don't, so... Alright, so... Uh, one of... Yeah, see, their burning would be useful, but I don't have burning like I just said, and yeah... I have to do some, I'll have to do some sacrifice hits in this because these stupid um, zombie things. I don't know. I hate these guys, Scarfies. Yeah, I really don't like those guys. They're really annoying. All right. Yeah, and there's really nothing. Ugh. What am I doing? Okay. Nom you. All right. So yeah, there's a one up over there, but there's really nothing to do over here. And uh, another sacrifice hit, I guess. Suppose. Yeah, I can't quite reach him. Ooh, food, yay! My sacrifice was not in vain. Oh, a goody, another one of these wheel areas. Ah, don't want to kill it. All right, these wheel uh, races are always fun to do. Okay, you want to obviously go back to that. All right, so yeah, say goodbye to the wheel. Oh, and now we get cutter because we gotta get that chest. Ha <laughs> ha! Fall to your death. And uh, pointless potion. So. Anyways, moving on. Yeah, and uh, I, don't know, I don't know why you have to get those particular things. I mean, they are required, I suppose. So, you know. Alright, so. Uh, Alright, where am I? Okay, don't want to go in there yet. That continues forward. Now. I hate those heavy night guys. They really are annoying. Alright, now. Get that. Alright, that block there. Um. That you can only do, I, I, you pretty much only can do in multiplayer. Because I, I tried this before in like countless um, Kirby Amazing Mirror files. Um, you can get, you can summon your Kirby friends, but they will, they will do nothing. They literally will just stand there just staring at you, just like, what? And um, yeah, do not worry though, because that block and like one other block coming up real soon. There is actually absolutely nothing over there except like uh, an ability or two. Uh, so yeah, yeah. See, there's another one up there, as you can tell. Um, yeah, so don't worry about it. You can you can still get a hundred percent if you um, do not go through those doors, or or no, get past those blocks. What am I saying? Um, I believe what they do allow you though is that um, well, first off, I think they allow you to skip Batifire, uh, that second one especially. But, um, and also, um, well, let's get to the room first. You can see there are two different rooms, and there are s different abilities on each one. So, um, the, the block, the multiplayer block, would allow you to get access to different abilities. However, again, you don't have to go through it. So, what is the boss of this realm? Well, it's a familiar face. Cracko! And a bit of a missed opportunity, I suppose. I mean, they could have gone with, like, a lava-based boss or something. And no, they just go for a cloud, an eyeball with spikes. Uh, and I don't know how that makes sense. But, uh, anyways. Uh, Krakow's got uh, a bunch of its usual moves. Um, really nothing new here, if you fought Krakow before in the past. 
Um, you want a ranged attack, I suppose. Uh, bomb is really useful here. Cutter will also do you pretty well. Uh, these guys have burning, though. It won't do them much use. But anyways, down goes Krako. And this video is pretty much over, so I'll be ending this video, I suppose, with yet another jig. Woo! Could be got the dance fever. Anyways, this is Guy Question 9, and that was Mustard Mountain. Stay tuned for... More Kirby! Yay!